Boop. Choo, choo, choo. Are we live? Are we live? We are indeed. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is December 15th, 2020. And we're doing a pretty big comic book haul. Okay. Two buys that I had come in. Um, they're they were running late like it's christmas time everything's running late so things were running late and they arrived at the same time and i hadn't scheduled this in so i figured we'd do it right slip it in between like a 14 set 12 set live stream session we're doing slick mick how are you doing hope you're doing well good morning good morning from my end anyway good evening maybe for some of you guys out there or good afternoon or good morning the next day <laughs> slick make my dad's birthday today so oh can only drop in for for one hour but we'll still love it yeah dude we got stuff from golden age we got silver age we got bronze age we got copper age we got modern age we have almost everything raw one cgc 5 p.m. your time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, while we wait for notifications to go out, let me just do my little intro. That way we can get to it as soon as uh, everybody starts rolling in, right? If you want to know what this work is about, I am on Patreon. If you want to support this work, I am on Patreon. Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. Everything's layered on mathematics. Creative Commons share and share alike i don't put anything in my own paywalls okay for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support i appreciate it and it is because of your support that we're able to do this in large part okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live chy C -H -Y -C -H -O -L -I -V -E. <laughs> cornflakes how are you doing welcome welcome captain uh, queef heart 69 what up oh gee what are we talking about today we're ready ready <laughs> we got a lot of comic books we're gonna look at two boxes of comic books that came in so i'm gonna show you a whole bunch of comic books we're i'm doing fantastic man this comic book haul came at a great time it's raining I got my nice jumper on, nice sweater on, winter sweater on. It's like really, I've been looking forward to this haul and I'll tell you guys why. It's waiting for it to come, right? I found someone that was dump someone that was dumping their comic books on eBay and Elder God, how are you doing? And they didn't like it was weird. Like they posted stuff, they were posting lots. There were some of the comic books were on top of each other, so you couldn't even tell what some of the comic books were. <laughs> but there were some keys in there, so you're, I'm sort of like going, "Okay, what do we do? What do we do?" And the the person had less than a 50 feedback rating, like 30 or something. So wasn't sure where it was going. And then after I bid on all these, I won the main lot that I was looking for. And um, you know, I he had other stuff on there. I made a couple of offers. I bought a couple other ones just to combine the shipping cost. And then I made them, I contacted him and said, hey, listen, um, I'm thinking about getting some other of your books. Combined shipping still applies and stuff. He goes, yeah, yeah, combined shipping, no problem. And I made a whole bunch of, well, some, some more offers and put everything together. And he told me that he was leaving the country. He was in Canada. He was moving away from the country and he was just selling everything. And any reasonable offer would not be uh, uh, declined. So what I ended up doing, I just made, reasonable offers like basically some of the stuff i didn't even make an offer i just told them i'll take it for what you got <laughs> what you listed it right so it's good there's some keys here man there's some keys here man i just choked on my drink holy moly there are so many there are so many comic books man some of them i don't even know what they are i couldn't even read i couldn't even figure out i was looking at the pictures going what is that what is that and some of the ones there were keys but i didn't know there were keys so I, I was because it, it was all mixed up so i was looking up some of the stuff i'm not going what oh what oh sweet nice and then a couple of the ones i was willing to bid a certain amount 
and I won the lot, the big one. I was willing to bid higher than that, but I didn't even know there were some other keys in there that I didn't know. All right, Cheryl, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Hello Parlor Gap, Minds, VK, and Twitter. And we do have a Discord page. And anytime that you want, you can come to our Twitch channel and type in exclamation mark social and you'll see a whole bunch of links come up here and those are all social networking links I guess and at the bottom there there's a discord link and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a lot of information talking to each other collaborating in some cases and uh, just you know open forum all right pretty good place to be um, I'm enjoying it right and there's a few other people that are enjoying it as well so you're welcome to join us there for live streams where we don't have any visuals but we got visuals today when we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as a podcast and those audio files those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this video random <laughs> awesome <laughs> Chicho surge with the Christmas add-on. Seriously, this is like this. This was my Christmas gift to myself, right? Uh, and we will be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute. And if you're on those platforms, you can um, you can support this work by sharing, by liking, by uh, commenting, by turning on notifications. Uh, guaranteed to get notifications through BitChute. Mm -hmm questionable through youtube and if you're on youtube uh we have a handful of people that are supporting this work through uh joining youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang and if you want to support this work on youtube you can join youtube membership there's a button right down here aside from that gang comic book all oh, comic book all oh, comic book oh. dragons how you doing what's up chicho hey, chat lonely piggy hey Ch chicho and chat hope all is well any snacks oh dude here's another thing i went and picked up these things yesterday and my mom because i can't there we live in different cities so we're not visiting each other this christmas everything is you know we're not rocking the boat on this side uh in terms of direct conflict with the authorities and i agree with sort of reducing the travel right so i'm not gonna go visit them this christmas so she sent me a big box of cookies <laughs> homemade cooked pastries and i know how to make these gang and this is this is armenian nazuks we're the only ones that got these guys armenian nazuk not our family but armenians this is especially armenian nazuk right i know how to make this right there was a time look at that look at that deliciousness right for in the mid 2000s uh, me and the family or the family and I did a farmers market and for five we did it for one year but for five years before that I was living we we're all living the same me and my mom were living in the same house my sister whatever and I apprenticed under my mom all the cooking I mentioned this during our cooking sessions but one of the reasons I apprenticed under her because I wanted to learn how to make this and I make a kick-ass nozuk look a look it's fully layered I don't know if it's gonna focus there you go It is so good. It's insanely addictive. In high school, I used to take these to school and trade with people. People were willing to give up their <laughs> their homework for one nazuk. I haven't done my homework. Who wants a nazuk? <laughs> Chicho, I'll give you my homework. Okay, thanks. Here's a nazuk. <laughs> Vanessa, how you doing? I'm rocking hello hello uh elder god I'm rocking the boat like I'm on the tide <laughs> I know elder god <laughs> those look amazing Randall they're phenomenal really so dangerous it's sugar butter and flour and a little bit of a lot of love and the beauty of them is they last a long time 
it's dry pastry dry food dry pastry lasts a long time so we make those during the fall and winter a lot and they last throughout you know the whole fall the whole winter really good lomi pige is basically um sugar flour vanilla butter butter um uh, really good really good crack how you doing gang let me take these guys down sean yo hello butter butter lots of butter it's fantastic let me take these guys down let's get into the comic book hall we've got a lot of books to look at got my snacks ready this time sean yo says have you finished all your burgers no no i put a whole bunch in the freezer right we still have like 15 more burgers left in the freezer um i might we might pull one out uh, uh i froze them in bags of nine i believe or eight maybe eight so take those out maybe seven i can't remember now uh so maybe take those out and we uh thought i'm gonna eat burgers for a day or two right batman oh elder god we got batman comics oh yeah <laughs> there's there's batman comics in this now take a look at this thing gang there's two halls okay there's this one and it there isn't that many comics here there's only five comics here but one of them is cgc now this one the guy we bought from this guy before but they didn't pack it tight enough it's moving around so i gotta check into it it feels weird it's i think that's the comic we'll find out and then we got this this is packed <laughs> right let me tell you how much these things cost us let me tell you how much these things cost us cheers all maldegras how are you doing these things cost us and we'll go through it this one this guy that has five comic books uh, all golden age okay uh this should be all golden actually well early silver age too 1955 as well this one cost us total 95 dollars including shipping right so it costs Da, 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 da. and we're gonna crack open this one first let me crack open this one first and then we'll get into the other one so this one the comic books cost 75 dollars it was 16 dollars shipping and a five dollars tax so it ended up costing like 96 dollars okay so it ended up costing 96 dollars and let me crack this open so some math as well some math as well yeah some math i was gonna make a table of contents and stuff but i've been streaming like constant so and I've been dealing with my students doing some exams and stuff, so I didn't get the chance to make uh, not table of contents like a spreadsheet. But let's check this out. Well, I hope this is the one anyway. It should be. And I'll tell you what they are as we pull them out. Right? Oh my god. Oh, wait a second. This isn't the one. Oh, this is a different one. <laughs> this isn't the one I was waiting for. This is who? Wait a second. What's this from? I don't know where's this from. What? Oh, no. This is... Oh, my God. This is just my mistake. There's only one haul here. The haul is both of these books. Both of these are from the same haul. That's how many books I bought. I didn't re even realize because the guy had l layered everything on top of each other. So you couldn't re even really tell what was in there. So both of these are one haul. Okay. Let's f fly by our pants. <laughs> it's more fun. Oh my God. Yeah. So this is one haul okay i have this one haul check this out this is like a short box and like this things oh wow he layered on everything on top of each other i'm gonna put it like this so they're not sitting on top of each other <laughs> this is difficult so check this out hold on let me tell you how much this thing cost it's sweet 
<laughs> Sweet. These comics, the short box and about this much of uh, this beer box, <laughs> right? Cost. The comics themselves cost, let me look at the order form. The comics themselves cost $238 and it was $32 shipping, right? So keep that in mind, gang. $238, $32 shipping, total $270 Canadian. Now, $270 Canadian, let me tell you what that is in US funds. Da -da -da -da, just so we have these numbers, right? 270 Canadian, oops, this way. 270 Canadian is $212 US, okay? So total $212 US. 270 maple leaf coins, 270 maple leaf coins. Elder God, 238. Uh, no, I got 212. Yeah, 238 for the books, right? And then 32 for the for the shipping. So total $270. Oh, thanks, $270. And let's go through this one first. And then we're going to go through that one. Uh, to say that I got an amazing deal is an understatement, okay? Considering some of the key books here. Let's do this. Now, this was a random, oh, hold on, he's mixed these up. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna separate these, I'm gonna separate these into the halls that they are, right? That way you know what the prices were. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, it's gonna be difficult to separate them into the halls. Okay, you know what? We're not even gonna separate them into the halls. He threw everything in together. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh some of them will be able to check this out. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this guy. out <laughs> biden marks <laughs> love lonely piggy love how chicho is always super high oh dude i i i i love this this is like especially when you get stuff that you haven't you haven't gotten before uh, and you get oh here we go here's another stack check this out all of this All of this, all of this is a Cerebus lot. Do you want to, do you want to know what number it starts off with? It's the lowest number. Number seven. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> okay, check this out. Now this one. Oh yeah, this is, this is this one. Too funny, too funny. Let's see. I'll have to crack this open as well. Eight clowns. General, always super, always super one. I can't wait. Key books, eh? Batman. Oh no, Batman three, uh, three thirteen is not there. That's the new Batman coming up, right? The they're introducing a black Batman. Let me do this. So we have sort of approximately the same. Uh, we have the loss sorted out. Let's 
take this off. Oof. Hot, hot, hot. I'm sweating. Okay, so those are those ones. Nice, nice. Nice. Oh, sweet. Cool. Okay, this goes with those ones. Okay, we're going to start looking at this. Elder God, since you said you wanted Batman, let me let me show you the Batman. Let me show you Batman first. Check this out. This is this lot, this lot, this lot, this lot. This is the Batman lot, the Batman lot. Here we go. Okay, check this out. This is a Batman lot. There is how many comics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there seven? I thought there was more. Mm. There should be eight comics. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, I know what we're looking for. I'll find it. Hold on. That one should be easy to find. Because it should be thicker. And it is. And it is. <laughs> Check this out. check this out check this out we ended up getting this this lot we ended up getting this lot for $15 Canadian okay $15 Canadian there was no none of these were graded he didn't provide any grades or anything okay <laughs> he just had things on top some of them i couldn't even tell what the number of the comic was even these batmans i was like okay i know that i know that batman but i don't know what the number is right but let me show you the ones that i did know batman death in the family first print okay speaking of batman i've sent in my second ever book to get cgc's <laughs> Lonely Big of Snap. The Thor, God of Thunder number two. First appearance of Gore, the God Butcher. Uh, it shot up in price after the Marvel movie news. Nice. Nice. Let's just check out the grade on this. Really. I would say this is at least a 7.5. Okay. So it's the trade paperback, Death in the Family, all together. Jason Todd, my favorite. I like Jason Todd too, right? Your favorite uh, DC character, really lonely piggy. Oh my, right? Fantastic. And this is the first print. I'm positive this is the first print. Pretty sure, anyway. 1988. First printing nice beautiful right i actually I, I really don't know even if i have this in my collection or not if i do it's most likely the second print uh, so happy to have this i'll put it in a nice bag and board later okay check out the rest of these red hood i'm a sucker for red hood uh -huh. this is uh, batman detective comics new 52 number two modern right this was in there too and then you'll you'll know why i'm not really explaining some of these lots because they're all over the place right so there's this in there i have that issue but it looks much older nice yeah the one you have or this one good looking chicho yeah check this out batman where's the number on this Oh, I don't even know what the number of this Batman DC Super Spectacular number I don't know what number this is check this out check this out there's glare coming here let me see let's see if we can do this without the glare man bad in general I need to get more common lonely piggy right so I don't know this is a, a super spectacular Batman February uh dc presents i don't know what number this is hundred page giants okay 
So this was in it. We got beautiful. And this is, uh, I believe this is this one, Detective Comics 439 is a Neil Adams cover. Okay, I believe so. So Detective Comics 439. Like beautiful cover, and the grade for this is pretty good. Like, uh, keep in mind, I got. This. <laughs> I, know. <laughs> All of these plus more coming up for twenty dollars Canadian, right? Check it out! Check it out! Let's see it. nice take a look what the twenty dollars canadian <laughs> i like to emphasize that <laughs> look at the grade it's pretty damn good it's pretty damn good i would give this canadian seller chicho or canadian 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 seller this one i would grade Snap. Really? Uh, Stephen Ing Steve Inglehart script. Vine Sal Amido pencils and uh, Dick Giardino inks, right? So no switching US dollars can be super worth it, super worth it. Yeah, beautiful color, right? Fantastic, fantastic. Really, this was a shot in the dark. Like, here's this one. Batman 238. Neil Adams cover. <laughs> she chose a theft. Nostalgia theft. Boop. I <laughs> know how you doing. Batman 238, right? And this one is lower grade. I would grade this one at the... Uh, Two and a half or so, two and a half, three, right? Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the seller, Gina, the seller was, I contacted them. I was I was going for the big lot. I'll show you what the big lot is, the really big lot, right? That was the most chunk of the money, it was 100 plus for that big lot. And there was a few people bidding on it, right? And there were some keys there that I knew. And then when I won that, I wanted to combine shipping. So I went through and some of the stuff, it was, it was, nothing was graded. The numbers weren't even there. It was just pictures. So if you did a search for a specific comic, like if you did a search for Batman 238, it wouldn't show up. It wasn't there. <laughs> it was just a picture. So I went through everything he had listed. And then I contacted him. He said he was leaving the country and uh, I had already made him some offers. He was leaving the country and um, he was selling everything. So I said, okay. Uh, you know, I'll buy whatever. Here's Batman, or sorry, Detective Comics 432. And this is in poor condition. Okay. This one is poor condition. I used to dress as Batman for Halloween. Haha. -ha, when I was six. Nice. I swear wearing Batman sucks all the gods. Some people just want to get rid of. Yeah, some people, when they're in a rush, that's one of the reasons, gang, when I said. Um, Okay, I'm not going to pull this one out because this one is in poor condition. When I said I like buying from sellers that have low ratings, like they haven't been on it, they don't, they're not resellers, is because it's their own private collection. They're trying to get rid of stuff. Uh, and I'd rather give my money to them, right? Here's uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number six, Gothic, one of the best Batman series ever. This was in the same lot, right? And check this out. <laughs> This one is in you know, probably 2, 2, 2.5, like 2.53. Detective Comics 332. <laughs> and free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Good timing, good timing, good timing. Detective Comics 332. 
Fantastic. I've got you behind bars at last, Joker. That's what you think, Batman. Watch. One, two, three. Now you're inside the cell and I'm on the on the outside. <laughs> the Joker's last laugh. Okay, home now. You have my full attention. Awesome crack. You're you're dude, you're gonna love this. Beautiful Joker cover. Fifty dollar bill for that. Is it fifty dollars? <laughs> we bought we bought all of this for twenty. <laughs> Joker's are easy, I would say. Nice. Uh, what what would you value the lot compared to what you paid? Oh, dude, like this was a steal. This was what I value this lot. I like just one of these books is worth the whole lot, right? That, not the Legends of the Dark Knight or uh, Batman number two, but like this, it covers all of this, right? That's the way I sort of look at it, right? What's the cost? What am I getting? So basically, I paid for this and got everything else for free, right? That's the way I look at it. Almost looks like a Dick Sprang Joker. Um, which one is this one? I actually highlighted this one because I was trying to figure out. Um, it's Highway Robbery, Elder God says. I was trying to figure out, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, like oh, who some of these artists and stuff were for this one i actually highlighted this it's uh carmen infantino did the pencils for this joe gila did the inks for the cover okay and in here you get uh john uh, uh sheldon Murdoff gill so pencils uh script uh carmen Infa uh, infantino sid green inks uh gardner fox so there's there's like so many people artist in this whole comic lot that i just lost track i got dizzy trying to figure out what it was that we ended up getting okay so let me put this over here make some room now let's see what else we got infant infantino is awesome so like he should be better known really carmen infantino is, has done a tremendous amount of work there's there's more dude uh, not batman other stuff but i'll show you what they are okay let me show you this lot i hope this is all together so oh nice and really when i bought this one i couldn't tell uh, what was in here because they were on top of each other right <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> No, it's not the first shoe, is it? Check this out. Oh, snap, snap, snap. All of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Here we go. Okay, check this out. What I'm about to pull out was another lot. Okay. Check this out. Oh, <laughs> that's a box. Of, that's a box of comics, and there's more behind here. It came with a beer box as well, so it's like lots of comics. Check this out. What I'm about to pull out. All of this was one lot. Okay, I believe so. Anyway. Oh, oh hold on a second. No, it might be two lots. I wish he had put them all together like the lots sacred <laughs> nice 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 oh this one too what the hell yeah oh wow okay i'm gonna do it this way i'm gonna do it this way here we go okay the rest of this there were two lots because he's put them together. Okay, so I think this is going to be two lots. Going through the box reminds me of a Saturday morning comic store in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Look, gang. So these two lots, what you're about to see me show you, I believe this is what, this is what the cost was. Okay. I ended up paying 
Um, 15 and 20. No, it's probably this one. It could be two lots or three lots. So total 30, 30 plus 15, $45. $45 for the following comics. Okay. I believe. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to do f four lots together because they're all randoms. Uh, $45. No, no, no. No, this is it. $45. Okay. And this is in there too. Yeah. So this is well. Okay. This, 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 and this. We're going to zoom through this gang. Watch this. said it before and I'll say it again nothing beats flipping through boxes of comics indeed manifest destiny number one image comics fantastic series beautiful artwork okay and all of these they're like mint near mint near mint minus fatal number 15 Ed Brubaker very nice very nice black science what number is this number seven black science number seven rick reminder i still haven't read this series apologies about the glare gang let me see if i turn off this light maybe move it over there let me move it over here let's see is the glare better a little bit better less so okay chew number one i don't think this this isn't the original chew this is the second chew it must be chew number one okay so if you guys know some of these comics let me know but i believe this is chew the second series okay it's not the first one chew got a great deal uh thief uh thief of thieves image reprint number one this one is in poor shape he read oh <laughs> what 20 i don't know oh that's the fifth printing so this is thief of thieves image reprint one dollar so i'm gonna put this aside and read this okay i haven't read that and then we got thief of thieves number one fifth printing yes second chew is what the first series was called okay yeah and I think the first series he's sitting on a table eating brains, All right? So Thief of Thieves fifth printing. Okay, it's got fifth printing on there. Rat Queens issue number one second printing. And Rat Queens is fun. It's a fun series. I've read some of it. So issue number one second printing. Beautiful cover. Look at that. Nice family tree i'm i'm actually pulling this or i was pulling this family tree number five image comics family tree number six jeff lemire right jeff lemire fantastic writer okay Ooh. lazarus one i think this is a variant cover Lazarus one right I don't know if this this is the first series I believe decorum issue number five I don't know the series I haven't read it decorum issue number five oblivion song number 25 lazarus is a fun read was picking up in trades were you crack nice i haven't read it at all so i don't know anything about it oblivion song number five nice cover i picked up the first few issues of this actually never got around to reading it descender number 27 sweet i like it he's a he was he's a jeff lemire and rick reminder uh reminder fan so December num uh, December number 27 beautiful cover again painted cover 
Black Science, number 31. I can't, yeah, there's uh, very little cars. It's raining, it's, it's cloudy, it's nice, man. It's nice, I love the fall and winter. Black Science, number seven. outcast this one is in rougher shape some of these they vary in shape there some of them are mint some of them are rougher uh, most of them are mint like I'm I'm just noticing the rougher one so this is outcast number seven it's rougher okay this is a good series I read a, uh, some of it and I watched the first season TV series it was fun Tony how are you doing what's up Chicho and gang Freezing and snowing here in Ottawa. Lucky to be where you are. Yeah. Outcast is cool. Yeah, agreed. Check this out. Cyblade She. Number one. Image Comics. This is from 1990s, I believe. This is probably in good shape or something. No, more than that. It's like seven or so. Sitting around. Minus 13 here in Winnipeg. Yikes. We had a nice snowfall the other day. I love winter as well. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm hoping we get snow. I'm hoping we get snow. Still water. Nice. I don't know sl still water. Still water number two. I don't know the series at all. Okay. Thumbs. I don't know the series at all either. Thumbs part one. I don't know this. Crowded, issue number one. I can't remember if I picked this one up. Manifest Destiny, number seven. Really, this is a fantastic fantastic like the artwork for this was super cool super super cool really i i only picked up the first uh i don't think i got to this uh number this is number seven i think i got it up to number five or six but i wasn't reading it i just flipped through it getting get a chance to read it right it, it was sorry it was just he this guy was selling all his comics so i bought a big lot of randoms and then randoms and then randoms and the whole Cerebus lot. We got we got some early Ninja Turtles coming up. Okay, Manifest Destiny is one I hear is really good. Never read. I read I read a, uh, some of it. Right, flip through. I read issue number one and two. Don't really remember too much. With the artwork, just really stood out. Who did the art for Manifest Destiny? It's uh, the writing is Chris Dingus, uh, Matthew Roberts, and Owen. G Jenny check this out see that those are the people now look at the look at the artwork it's beautiful my pleasure my pleasure and strange Academy number two this is the third printing I've been picking this up by the way this is one of the comics on my poll list okay Turtles are your jam, Tyson? I got some early turtles. They're a couple of second prints, I believe. We'll have to check them because he didn't say, right? Strange Academy is good. What a haul. Check this out. Keep in mind, gang, all of what I'm showing, what you saw there, this, this, and this, $45 Canadian. <laughs> Check this out. This is a great series. Jim Starlin, I have this issue. I have some, I have some uh, Dreadstar run. Jim Starlin's Dreadstar, fantastic. You can't mess with this, man. One of the greatest series ever written, hands down. I haven't read all of it. I've read some of it, but um, oof those teenage books are so hot right now i've seen uh acquiring old dark horse star wars books and incredible iron man were first co covered appearance of ironheart yeah 
Oh, that one's going high price, yeah. Incredible, Invincible Iron Man. Really under, this is one of the most undervalued comic book series ever. Jim Starlin's Dreadstar. I still have to get the complete run and I'm keeping my eyes on it. If I can get a complete run, I'm buying the whole thing, right? Here's another underrated 12 issue maxi series. Crack Dress Stars Classic. I think I have the full run plus a magazine size issue. Oh, do you crack? Ooh, envious, envious. Here's another amazing series from the 1980s, and that's from 1980s. Here's another one Moon Shadow. This is issue number two. It's a 12 issue maxi series, right? Or a mini series, if you want to call it. I haven't, I don't have the full run. I read a couple of issues of this, and it was beautiful beautiful eclipse right or it's not not eclipse epic comics right gang get your hands on moon shadow <laughs> moon shadow is so good so good girl. have you read the whole thing i haven't read the whole thing check this out <laughs> invincible number 34 right i haven't read invincible yet there's a hardcover version as well, I think. There is, and it's, it's fetching a hefty price, I think. Oh, epic, not the vertical version. Not the vertical version, uh, the, the epic version. Yeah, yeah. Moon Shadow looks beautiful. Zara, it's beautiful. Yes, I have. Loved it, nice. Here's another Manifest Destiny, number two. Undiscovered Country, number nine. I picked up the first few issues of this. Undiscovered Country. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the sub. Apologies if I'm not catching them. Uh, I do appreciate the support. Inkbot, number two. Inkbot, number two. outcast number one and i have this uh, i picked this up i already have this i have the first again a few issues of this nice series good read the tv series was pretty good too i watched the first season one and a half seasons anyway <laughs> i've been picking this up this is on my pull list and keep in mind i didn't know what was there i could only see one or two issues and the rest of it was just buried on top of each other it was like what are those for f f like big girl number one this is on my pull list okay. big girls this is just a gigantic girl fighting giants it's like uh, the Japanese Godzilla style here's sex criminal number three sex criminal number three I haven't been reading this I've heard it's supposed to be good. Okay. Sex criminal number three. Bitter root number eight. Bitter root number nine. Ah, nice. Undiscovered Country number one. I pick up a, a, the other cover for this, so I didn't have this cover. Undiscovered Country number one. I don't know what this is. Top Cow, Voice in the Dark. Uh, Killing Game part one, number three. I don't know this at all. I'm assuming this one is from the 1990s. Here's number two oops sorry number two and here's number one cool dark cover here's nowhere men number one
let's do this. Let's bring these guys here. Let's bring these guys over. Nice. American Vampire, 1976. Uh, black label. This is book... I think this is book one. I don't know this. Pretty sure that outcast alone is worth close to 20. Is it? I, I, I don't think so. I think it's going for lower. Uh, 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 faith, faith deal. Uh, great deals. Great deals no matter what. Right? American Vampire Book 2, 1976. It dropped it dropped in price I saw a CGC graded one go for like CGC 9.8 go for like $16 I was like what the hell you still have to pay for shipping and stuff but uh, legends of the swamp thing Halloween special spectacular number one <laughs> swamp thing oh wow I love American vampire do you I haven't read it I don't know it at all I think outcast one was going for more but it dropped off a while ago yeah it dropped off a while ago swamp thing is awesome here's uh these are gonna be random bliss number three i i don't know the series either are you santa well santa came to me early to be fair i love anything scott snyder yeah scott snyder's a good writer man bliss number three bliss number two uh number four and really these are all like near mint right nice tartulus number one sweet i was meaning to pick this up but i was on low on budget glad i got it in this one right awesome just the cover price on this is six dollars us so it's like 850 canadian Did you get the Swamp Thing winter book a couple of years back? Um, I don't know. Swamp Thing Halloween, uh, maybe. <laughs> I can't remember. Ronan Island, number one. Sweet. Ronan Island, number one. Boom. the boys dear Becky number one the boys dear Becky number one I don't know dirty dirty dirt dirty dirt the unholy bastards versus the future I actually picked this up awesome one shot right albatross from the world of goon right i missed the beginning of the stream where did you get this haul i got this haul from a seller on ebay that had like low rating uh and ended up costing including shipping 270 dollars all in all in right the unkind un unkindness of ravens number one boom boom right and this is all the modern stuff dude you should see some of the uh, we saw the batman that there's cerebus coming there's teenage mutant ninja turtles coming there's valiant coming uh there's there's other stuff coming autumn autumnal i don't know this one these ones i think he just put together because he just wanted to sell the number ones and twos and stuff together and he didn't even list them Autumnal, autumnal, <laughs> awesome. The woods, the woods number one. Fantastic, fantastic. Very good, very good. Nice, boom. I love this guy. He buys moon. Oh, here's another one. Oh, okay. This one comes in. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Let's check this out. Now we're getting into. Okay, I can't. 
I can't separate them from lots now because I know this was from another lot. Not this one, but the other one. I'm about to show you. Oh, you missed Batman. I'll show it to you, Speedy Gonzalez towards the end if you remember. Here's Coda number one. I didn't pick this up when it first came out. Awesome, awesome, beautiful cover, very beautiful colors. It's just you're limited on funds. Check this out. Now this, so add, so total 270 all in gang. Okay, no more going through the lots, what I paid for each one, except for the one I know, right? Check this out. <laughs> oh, is this guy, is this guy, this guy. Check this out, know this? This is Magnus Robot Fighter number one, first appearance of Rai, right? I'm gonna crack this open. I mean, he's got a $20 price tag at the back. I'm gonna crack this open. I wanna see. Oh, and it's in the Mylar bag too. I wanna see if the coupon's still on there. Okay. Gotta see if the coupon's still there. We've done a reading of this comic, right? Check this out. This is. Magnus Robot Fighter number one. Oh, sorry, number five, right? With the raw flip book, a raw flip book. I love the old painted covers for the original series. Indeed, indeed, that's awesome. Come on, coupon, come on, coupon. Oh, snap, it's still there. <laughs> check it out, check it out. The coupon's still intact too. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> fantastic super good super good awesome 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 i'm gonna put this guy back so pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good i'm gonna flip it like this because it's magnus robot fighter number five right oh dope does the coupon up oh yeah for sure if the coupons cut out it's way cheaper right because it's like having uh not a complete book right so they really uh ding it on coupon being missing what is it the coupon the you cut out the coupon from magnus robot fighter number one to seven or eight you sent it in and then you got magnus robot fighter number zero it was like the harbinger coupons right harbinger number one to seven i think had coupons if you cut those in you sent them in you got harbinger zero okay oh yes i don't have this <laughs> snap i didn't know this was in here doctor tomorrow the glory war from acclaimed comics which was valiant nice nice and they just re-released this right not really released but doctor tomorrow came out with a new series from valiant and i'm picking up everything valiant right awesome i I think this might be his first appearance. I'm not 100% sure. Miscataton, tonic, miscatatonic. Number one. Snap. <laughs> Check this out. Let's put these guys here. Very cool, very cool. Let's bring these guys out crack okay got to run everyone glad i caught you live for a bit awesome crack thank you for popping in thank you for popping in check this out lock and key number one this is uh, not the original series but another series that came out the second series or third series lock and key number two Oh, what? Lock and key number two. Wait a second, isn't this the original lock and key? Here's lock and key number one. Gang, should we look it up? Lock and key number one. Is this the original lock and key series? Okay, I gotta look this one up. Let's look this one up. Lock and key. Lock and key, lock and key lock and key number one i don't think so i don't think he would put the original lock and key number one in this 
No, 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 it's not. This is the 2020. This is the most recent one. Ah, I didn't realize they just had a recent one come out. And don't forget, gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, right? So this is a new series, uh, 2020. Invincible, number 46. And the $5, $5 tag is on the on the on the bag it's not on the comic so he's got two issues of invincible number 46 i don't know the invincible series so i don't know if this is important why he has two issues of it but two copies of it trump free assange to be remembered indeed and to give him a chance if he's going to run in 2024 to get elected right invincible number 38 nice Some of these in Mylar. This one is in Mylar as well. So I don't know if number 38 is supposed to be fetching a high price or not, or if it's important or a key or not. Okay. Liberty Annual. 1980. No, not since. I don't know what this is. Liberty Annual. This looks like. Uh, what do you call it? Hellboy stuff. I don't know this. The Walking Dead. What number is this? 163. Walking Dead 163. Yeah. This Invincible is a little rougher. Invincible 42. Now check this one out. Oh, this has got a felt mark on top of it. So this is the first appearance of LimeWire. And it's it's got a mark on uh, pen mark on here, right? And it's probably graded at two or not. No, 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 not two. Like five or something, five or six. Right? So first appearance of LimeWire. I don't have this, so I'm glad to have this whatever grade it is. Uh, it doesn't make a difference to me. Right, so I would say uh, Superman Adventures number five. Very it, back here, they said Superman Adventures very, very good minus, right? And they had priced it at $45. First line wire, I don't know if it's going for 45 or not. We didn't get it for 45. <laughs> yes, Cheryl, thank you, Elder God. Be good. Check this out. Here's another underrated series, right? Star Slayer, number two. And Star Slayer is really good, but number two is special because it's the first appearance of Rocketeer. First appearance of Rocketeer by Dave Stevens. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Stargazer, number one. Don't know the series. Bruce Tim, Bruce Tim did the uh, Star Slayer, yeah. A long time ago, I read some of it. Long, long time ago. Dose number two, I believe this is. No, number one. Dose number one. I don't know the series either. Okay. Grim Fairy Tales number forty. Bell one shot. Black Mass Studios number two. I forget what uh, series this is. Um, Grave, uh, Grave. I can't remember what the name of the series is. I need to watch some Batman now. <laughs> I need to read some Batman. <laughs> The Vault of Cerebus. <laughs> Check this out. We're going to get serious Cerebus going on. Not just the Vault of Cerebus. Right? 
Yeah, <laughs> gone again, Smith. Grumble. Grumble number four. Nice. I picked up Grumble number one and two, I believe. Lady Hawk, number one from Tops. Don't know this. Sacred Six. I'm actually picking up this series. Uh, I have it on my pull list. And I picked up number one, but I didn't get this variant. So I was happy to have this one. All right. King Tank Girl, number one. Tank Girl's fun. Tank Girl's fun. Beautiful UK humor. Green Hornet, number one from Dynamite. Beautiful cover. All right. Green Hornet, number two. Eric Powell, the goon, number 12. The goon, number 12. Chicho, when do you prefer to read your comics? In the morning or at night? Uh, I'm all over the place, Punisher. Uh, afternoon is really nice. Afternoon is really nice. Early morning, I don't read comics early in the morning. Early in the morning, I'm checking news and emails and stuff. Rana, Rana Rock. Number one. This is a variant cover. IDW. I like reading in the afternoon and at night time as well. Right now I'm reading Monstrous Volume 5. So good, so good. So good, so good. Okay. Here, let's do this. Oh, here comes Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, let's do these. Yeah, we'll do this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like a fine wine and cheese pairing. What did you watch and read at the same time? Oh, watch and read at the same time. I really don't watch and read at the same time. Just finished House of X, Powers of X. I love me some Hickman. Hickman, Case Man, how are you doing? War Graphic Annual, number one. Uh, this looks like from like 1980s or 1990s. Uh, I don't know the series. I looked it up, but I forgot to look up the date. Okay. Now this one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six. Now this one was in one lot and I paid ten dollars for these strange adventures top kings strange adventures number one okay and this is the same group uh, same pairing that made the uh, uh, vision as well as uh, um, uh, miracle man series right that were really good strange adventures number two and I picked up the first issue, but I didn't pick up the, or maybe I did pick up the second as well. So very happy to have six issues of this. Number three, this should be some kind of special cryptocurrency for comics. Ooh, from your 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 comment to to the interwebs, I hope there is. Actually, it was Superman's last time. Superman the movie and Doomsday series. Haha. -ha. Strange Adventures number four. Comic coins. Strange Adventures number five. Strange Adventures number six. Awesome. Ah, the Miracle Men series. One of my favorites. What was the book you showed by tom king this is it strange adventures this is the the same tom king and the artist i forget who the artist's name is oh yeah there it is uh so tom king and uh mitch gerald i don't know if uh, evans shaner is part of it as well but it's the same group that made 
uh, Miracle Man is making putting out the strange adventures right the Miracle Man was fantastic indeed indeed very good series I read like three issues of it I didn't continue I'm just I'm very scattered I'm very scattered right now in my reading of comics right so let's put these guys here check this out check this out did you see oh here I'll show you this one too Jonah Hex number eight random no I, I, I read strange adventures uh, number one I didn't read the rest it's up to number eight right now X how are you doing oh we're gonna do X how are you doing <laughs> Yeah, the cover art is amazing. It's beautiful artwork, by the way. It's beautiful artwork. Story of my life, yeah. Uh, glyph, glyphonoid. Start a series, don't finish a series. There, uh, there's a few series I have finished, though. Check this out. Hi, Elder. Enjoying a laid back case, man. Says schedule for the end of the year. Manga collector, nice. Check this out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three. This isn't the first printing. I don't know which printing this is. We're gonna crack it open to find out. Okay. Let's check this out. I don't know which printing this is. It's a really good shape. Let's check it out. It's supposed to be, if it's a second printing, uh, it's supposed to say, this reprint of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles contains all of the same artwork from the original printing, but the lettering has been redone by our letterer, Steve Levinge. Steve also drew a pinup for the inside cover of Jim Lawson's Blade Biker Number 1. Check it out. Also, there's a new Teenage Mutant Ninja story in this reprint titled Complete Carnage and Radical. Written and penciled by Kevin Eastman and inked by Jim Lawson. So I don't know what printing this is. Uh, contents of this book are copyright 1985. Why wouldn't they put the printing? But check out the check out the artwork. Pizza time. I grew up with the series. Sneaky mind says. Uh, on TV though, I never read the comics. Piece of that. I keep in a storage shell. Kawabanga. I just use the scanner for that. I still have my teenage t shirts from 1990. Nice. Check it out. Here's the original artwork of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? Hell yeah. Master Splinter. Master Splinter. I wish I knew what printing this is. What the hell? Beautiful. Right? Very nice. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were mean. Hard, hard. Right? Hard, hard, hard. Those, even the second and third and fourth prints go for a fair bit. I wish I knew what printing this was. Here's the pinup. Someone that specialized in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles might be able to tell us which printing this is based on the pinup. Right? Here's the gatefold cover. And this, I would say, is in uh, grade wise. I'd give it at least a seven and a half. Here's the fold up. Very nice. That's the original art, yeah. Super cool, huh? Super cool. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number six. This is the second printing. So giddy. Love it, indeed. 
right? This is number six. This is the second printing. Should we crack this one open too? Let's crack it open. Nice. Gatefold cover, gatefold cover. Look at this, look at this. This should be the second printing. I believe this is the second. It is second. It must be second printing. Number six, me. Contents, printing, stats. I can't tell. I can't tell. Going for a cartoon in the 90s to the comic was a serious shell shock. <laughs> Look at this. Haha. <laughs> Classic underground comic, right? Fantastic. Look at that. Here's the boys. Here are the boys. Right? Look at that. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Cool. This was in the big lot I mentioned. Okay. I showed you guys those ones. Let's continue with the box. Let's continue with the box. Howard the Duck, number one. I believe this is the first appearance of uh, Gwynpool. I can't remember exactly. I'm the tough one, haha. <laughs> Norse mythology, Neil Gaiman, number two, also. Considering I have four monitors in front of me, uh, Donalite will always be my turtle. Nice. Uh, Star Wars Dark Times, number four. Fearless Dawn meets Hellboy. Cool. Nice cover. Clean. Right? Oh, the game in Norse mythology book was good. I didn't know they did a comic that. Yeah, yeah. It came out a uh, few months, uh, maybe two within two months. So it just came out. It might be at issue number three or something. Uh, and it's nice. I've read some of it. Shadow shadow pack number 21 i don't know this at all Raphael is my 1000 <laughs> percent thank you for the follows gang i appreciate the support lady death chrome cover i don't know what issue this is or anything okay lady death chrome cover The Battle for Bot Heaven. Bling. Black Hawk Book Two. Vertigo's Deathbed Number Two. I don't know this at all. The Unwritten, Mike Carey and Peter Ross, number one. Oh, here's, here's one of the key books coming up that I mentioned that I wanted that I didn't have. Green Lantern, number 49 crazy cool cover this fetches a fair bit and this is in great shape pretty good shape i would say this is at least at least at least a nine like really look at that nice nice look at that yeah 
Someone's losing their mind. Someone's losing their mind. Yeah, look at all the lantern rings. Oh my, who is the most powerful lantern in the universe? Someone just lost their mind. <laughs> now that's bling. Now that's bling. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Awesome. This one fetches, it's a fair, it's it, it, it not it's super heavy, but it goes for at least 30, 40 bucks, I think. All right, so, so happy to have this one. Dark Nice Death Metal number one. Joe, Joe Hill, Hill House Comics, number Daphrine Buyer, number three. Joe Hill writes some nice horror, by the way. Uh, fantasy sci-fi, I guess. Not sci-fi, but horror, I guess. I haven't read this, so I don't know what it's like. Here's Dollhouse Family 5, number five. I calculate you're about 40% of cost price. 40% of cost price. Oh, I uh, so far I'm only 40%. Uh, we got some other books coming up. <laughs> oh my God. Here's, here's these guys. These guys, will, you guys will know. Check this out. Eternal Warrior number five. Now these aren't in the greatest shape. They're okay. They, they, would, they would be in heat. But Eternal Warrior number five, second full appearance of Bloodshot right pretty damn good and they're both in mylar what the hell nice i have this issue of course right here's bloodshot number seven first appearance of ninjack right check this one out this is one of the reasons i bid on this as well now this one is about grade I would say eight, uh, seven point five eight, but Magnus so far anyway. Magnus Robot Fighter number twelve, first appearance of Torok, dinosaur hunter in the Valiant universe in the nineteen nineties, right? Lowdy, what a steal! Nice pickup, Chicho. Thank you very much. It really it is a great price. We still have. A bunch of comics coming too literally the first thing i thought was chicho already has all the eternal warriors indeed i mean you pay 40 cents on the dollar per comic yeah oh just the cost value not even yeah yeah like just price wise insane let's crack this open i want to see what the condition of this one is because this is one of the keys that i wanted right i already have this issue but it's an important book right and it was seriously sought after. Okay, so the back has dings in it, right? The back has dings in it, a couple of dings, more than a couple of dings, right? So I would give this a grade of like seven and a half, right? What fantastic. Should we see the first appearance of Turok? Let's see the first appearance of Turok. Let's look at the first appearance of Turok. And gang, really? If you didn't read early stage valiants from the 1990s, read them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stone head steel. Stone and stone and steel. Right. Let's see Turok. Let's take a look at the first tour. Oh, oh, there's Turok's lady. There are the dinosaurs. Look at the trippy dinosaurs. Acid trip. Acid trip dinosaurs. Look at that what the hell right let's look at the first appearance of Turok where is Turok where is Turok there's two oh there he is there's a first appearance of Turok I believe that's the first two panels that he appears in right very 90s very 90s right awesome cool 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 and at the back it says twenty dollars 
I don't know if this would be worth $20 right now. I doubt it. Probably not. But five bucks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's put this. It's got two bags in here. I'm just going to put one bag. Didn't even know there was a comic, but that was a fave. Yeah, yeah. The game, yeah, the game was based on the comic, basically from Valiant, from the Valiant days, right? Check out this one. Now, I didn't know. These two, I don't know what they are. I need to look them up. Okay. It was a fun game. Yeah. I played it as well. It was a fun game. Check this out. Oh, here's one. Firefly number one and this is uh, like a mini or a one shot that came out and Firefly gang if you haven't watched Firefly series watch it gravity of the situation Chicho um, do you have any of the cool world comics DC releasing yeah I do based on the movie of the same name indeed I do and they were fun they were fun I love cool world cool world was fantastic I wish it continued check this one out I don't know what this is I'm gonna crack it open for us to see right I looked it up and I found it but then I forgot what it was so I want to know what it is this is what is this and it's a mint condition the I'm Kindness of Raven, issue number two. That's what that is. Check that out. Cool. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Now we know what that is. Unkindness of Raven, number two. What a random haul. What a random haul. And then this one. This one, the characters are familiar, but I can't place them. Virgin cover. I can't place them. I don't know. Which one this is? Oh, yeah. Like, beautiful copy. Mint, mint, mint. Oh, uh, seven, seven secrets. That's what it is. Number one seven secrets number one i'm like man that's familiar to me i picked up the first few issues of this never got a chance to read it though an unkindness of raven is a murder mystery novel by british crime writer ruth rendell first published in 1995 is it case man nice very cool Ooh. so that's a beautiful cover nice cover great shape very cool very cool We got Once in Future, number two. 28 years ago this month, Doomsday was beating hell out of Superman. Ah, oh, was it nice? I was reading it. I was coming out. The Doomsday story arc was fantastic, which is one reason we did the reading, right? Random alerts. We only find them when they're dead. I've been picking up, or I picked up the first few issues of this. We only find them when they're dead. Bill and Ted are doomed, number one. Oh, nice. Here's the North mythology, number one, too. Bill and Ted are doomed, number one. Right? <laughs> Charles rolling her eyes. Norse mythology, number one, from Neil Gaiman. Right? Fantastic. So we got one and two so far. That's cool. Right? These just came out. I always use curious, curious... I, I, I always was curious, Chicho. What's your least favorite superhero comic series? Least favorite? Oh, Marvel has put out some brutal ones. Uh, back in the 90s, there were some horrendous comic book series. Bill and Ted's or Bill and Ted are doomed, issue number three. I don't know which one would be my least favorite, really, because I don't read them very long if I don't like them, right? The Marked. Uh, number nine. 
I don't know the series. Huge haul, Chicho. How much is left? There is uh, two small stacks left. One randoms and the other one Cerebus run. The Cerebus one is great. National Anthem number two. Capes, yeah, there was such a flood of capes in the day. Those Bill and Ted comments are now on my want list. Are they? <laughs> Gravity of the situation. <laughs> Superman, number 27. This is a cool cover. I like this. All black with Superman right there. Jeez, look at the glare. You guys can see yourselves. Right. Ah, there we go. That looks better. Sort this out so it doesn't fall over. Tales to offend. Number one from Dark Horse. These are all spoofs of uh, EC Comics. Tales of horror, tales of suspense, and whatnot. Batgirl number 50. That's a cool cover. Very nice. That's a fantastic cover. Look at this. Oh, this cover is fantastic too. So Batgirl number 50. Very cool nice cover and back row number 49 that's a cool cover too right i like that so number 40 and 59 let's show bat girl right. pretty cool i should do them like this nice covers Bill and Ted's movie that came out this year was fun was it I watched a little bit I didn't like it too much something is killing children number 12 I watched like 15 minutes of it something is killing the children number 12 this series holy camoles has gone through the roof the price on issue number one is well over 100 now okay let's put these in here we're gonna bring the last two little stack slacks stacks here okay wwf comics of the wrestlers are bad except hulk hogan versus incredible hulk okay check this out oz man yes before watchman number one we got free comic book day ultimate spider-man number one We got bliss number two and this was uh we had bliss number one and three as well so this is bliss number two vexing lag vaccine how are you doing <laughs> hey everyone vex here just wanted to, to say hello and i don't think i've stopped in since i changed my twitch name you yeah you haven't is vex i can't remember i always said vex welcome vex i hope everything's well brother i hope you're doing well i've been seeing some of your tweets on twitter now these guys check this out this was happy 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 this one i can tell you what i got this one for because they're in one lot right these guys were i bought them for ten dollars okay ten dollars and it's mr miracle from the 1980s by alan moore <laughs> ten dollars <laughs> and they're pretty good shape they're fantastic shape check this out mr miracle number four really uh, th this uh, and, and steel number four oh yeah chasing amy fun too bad i don't like uh, uh what's his name anymore 
the main guy. I don't like him. Oh, he's got two copies of eleven. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? <laughs> he did. I, this wasn't even a picture. There's two copies of number eleven, right? So two copies of number eleven. Chasing Amy was a good movie. What's his name? He played Batman as well. I don't like him anymore. So this is number eleven. Here's number ten. One of these co covers the cost. No, not Kevin Smith, the the main actor guy. Uh, ben Affleck, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Let's not spoil our beautiful comics by that name. Here, we'll hide it. <laughs> Number 10. Great shape. Bad flick. <laughs> yeah. Just this alone covers anyway number 13 what a beautiful cover what a beautiful cover what a beautiful cover what a beautiful cover alan moore john what's his name john total ben i'm putting all my hopes in battison <laughs> this cover is absolutely magnificent as well that was number 13 Here's number, hey, did we get number 15? Do, 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 do. Oh, number 15 was supposed to be in here. Maybe it's, oh, he put in two number 11s and no number 15. I think number 15 was supposed to be here too. Let me just check, check this out. He listed, no, no, he didn't list number 15. There was no number 15. That's right, number 15 is the one that is with the death. It's crazy price. Number 16, this is a beautiful cover, really. Just beautiful. Cheryl, you're gonna love this cover. Look at this. What a nice cover. Looks like you on the cover, Chicho. <laughs> no good to Robert P will be awesome, I reckon. Right? And here's number 17. And this is Neil Gaiman taking over for Alan Moore writing uh, Miracle Man, right? So I think this is the first issue of, so number 16, yeah. So this is Alan Moore writing number 16. And then there was a few month break and Neil Gaiman took over and Dave McKeon started doing the covers. So this is number 17, okay. I don't know what the deal was. I think it was just basically Alan Moore saying the F to the main publishers and walking away. Maybe. I don't know. Right. But this is Neil Gaiman. Uh, number 17. He's got the prices on the back. Oh, Jank, this is out. Low print run issue. Oh, he's got prices on the backs of these. Look at this. Here, just, just so. Now, I don't know how legit this is. Quite the switch. Quite the switch. Here's the prices on these. Uh, number four is going for not that expensive. It's like whatever, right? Because there was a lot of it. Here's number uh, 11 on the back. It says $12. I don't know how legit those are, but they seem to be legit. Number 11, this one for $8, right? Number 10 is listed at $10. The guy paid, right? Or someone paid. Miracle Man number 13, okay, it's got it listed at $40, right? Miracle Man number 16, this one, it says $50, near mint minus, low, low print issue. I don't know, right? And then Miracle Man number 17, it's got it graded at near mint mine is a 25 now he this some store was selling them for this right watching shisho to me is like neo rising above the clouds and revolution <laughs> funny now the last thing we got the last thing we got is <laughs> cerebus i was so happy to pick this one up and this one i can tell you what i got it for this one I can tell you what I got it for because it was uh, it was in one lot and this one the Cerebus lot I ended up paying $45 okay he had listed it 
it was buy it now he had listed it at 60 I made him an offer of 45 and he took it right so I got this for $45 I believe this is the first print run I gotta put this in a bag, better um, bag and board golden age Cerebus number seven first print I believe it's first print I'm gonna check it let's check this out let's check this out Cerebus Cerebus this number seven I think they're all first prints except no except one of them maybe so service number seven cover price is one dollar yeah this is the first print right so service number seven first print awesome awesome I think it's under not underrated people consider this to be one of the greatest independent uh, comic book runs in history 300 issues it ran for began in 1978 or 1976 1978 probably well I have it here let me check 1978 started in 1977 December 1977 is when Cerebus number one hit the stands right so amazing run but it's undervalued if I had a lot of money I'd buy the whole damn thing those background characters remind me of bone yeah right I'm pretty sure Jeff Smith took a huge huge amount of uh, sort of creative Liberty from Cerebus without a without a doubt okay so Cerebus number seven and then we got Cerebus number 16 and I checked on some of these I think they're all first prints Cerebus number 16 and Cerebus is hilarious fantastic read I haven't read all of it I read a, some of it right Cerebus number 17 very political very political elder God you should read this series oh god you should read this series start from number one and read at least one to 50. okay i think i've read one to 50. number 22 a bit number 25 jack hi a question for school it's a poll how does David Rubino influence your working career David I don't know David Rubino please if you can answer would be very significant for me David Rubino who's David Rubino number 25 I gotta put these in golden age bags on board number 25 oh it's got two issues of number 25 very cool two number 25s and these are very good shape not very not very good like very good like <laughs> like eight eight and a half or so great shape number 26 high society what a read what a read number 36 number this should be number let's see this what what is this number oh 41 <laughs> number 41 look at that number 44 Yeah, Dave Sim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave Sim spawn, uh, wrote spawn number 10. Number 45. Chicho, where did you get your long boxes from? And do they come in custom designs? They do come in custom designs, and I just picked the long boxes uh, from my comic book store. They have them there, right? And don't forget, gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Okay. Number 46.
number 47 number 48 Yeah, I do have a, a box, uh, what I do with my boxes, Punisher Max. If you do Chicho, how to store my comics or something, it's there. Number 49. Actually, Cerebus, 1 to 100. I haven't read all 1 to 100, but I've read a fair chunk, and that's hilarious. Number 50. And church and state, Cerebus, church and state. Whoa, what a read! What a read! Check this out number 51. Number 51. Okay, let me put these in order. Number 51. Here we go. Check this out. <laughs> I just recently read this again. Okay. I just recently read this again as a, like I picked it up in the 25 cent bins. I put pictures out on Twitter and uh, Parler and VK and LOL Minds. Yeah, and I shared it on YouTube and stuff. Check this out. First appearance of Wolf Roach, Cerebus 54. This, the 54 and 55. Here's number 55. Hilarious, hilarious too funny too funny seriously ah oh, thanks elder god too funny so this is a spoof off uh of wolverine of course right and then marvel later on did a spoof of cerebus pig wolf pig spider wolf uh, porky spider spider porky or whatever it is that's cerebus in a spider-man suit right marvel came after him sued him right trying to stop him uh if i recall correctly trying to stop dave sim from putting out wolf roach in a character <laughs> he put he put out his story and then he stopped doing the wolf roach character wolf roach character disappeared right because marvel didn't like wolverine portrayed like this <laughs> a copyright police it's so funny so funny hilarious 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 let me show you i don't know if it's in this one or the other one it's too funny man too funny let's see too funny and the artwork is absolutely brilliant by the way artwork is absolutely brilliant oh there's a cgc 8 service number one on ebay for five grand yeah if i had the money man i'd grab it if i had the money i'd grab it and high grade they're rare they're hard to find on high grade here's wolverine forever mind check this out here's here's cerebus and his lady friend just chilling on the couch together right and then all of a sudden wolf roach comes along through the mer merciless streets pursuits of the wolf pursuit <laughs> pursuit of the wolf roach confrontation one strikes the crossbow <laughs> oh, make sure i don't hit the mic not all my roach power can save me the tides turn triumph escape that that the countess be forever mine <laughs> too funny too funny and it keeps on going and it keeps on going so funny man so funny let's see if i can read this let's see if i can read this Serapis is like, what the hell is going on, man? Let's see if this focuses. Oh, I can't read it. Sought by a legion of dreaded foes, hounded by human jackals, scorned by the women, 
He loves the wolf roach hides no more. <laughs> and then Serapis in the bottom. Keep it down. They're probably still crawling all over the neighborhood. People chasing them. Too funny. Too funny. Super funny. There's some other scenes in there too. It's gold, man. It's gold. It's gold. Awesome. Very happy to have these. I don't have these original ones. So I have some early issues, Cerebus, but not like this. Not this many. That's sweet. And we got a few more. Just a handful more. We got Cerebus number 62. Cerebus number 65. Cerebus number 66. Beautiful. Cerebus number 60. That was 66. Oh, this is 66 too. Two copies of 66. And Cerebus number 98. Service number 98. I don't know how many comics that was, gang. Uh, there's some key issues in here. Oh, wait a second. There's one missing. Oh, there's some comics. There's a couple comics missing that we didn't get. Oh, look at this. We're missing one lot here. Let me, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. There's some comics he didn't include. Wait a second, wait a second. I gotta contact them. I gotta contact them. Yeah, there's some comics he didn't include. Oh, oh, there's some comics he didn't include. There's f four, nine, and 13 comics they didn't include, and there were keys. Oh, I gotta contact the guy. Son of a booger. He didn't include them. The ones he didn't include were Kung Fu Fighter number one, Warlord number one, a Firestorm number one, Isis number one, Justice Society number um, number sixty nine, which is the first appearance of uh, Hun Hunstress, the new Hunstress. Um, we got uh, Legends number two, which was uh, uh, I forget which one that was, and then we have infinity number 14 which is a first todd mcfarland cover and his second story arc so i need to get these guys from the uh need to get these from him all right kung fu fighter number one yeah it's not here son of a booger it's not here oh very unfortunate now i have to go through the whole thing just to make sure that everything's here um but those ones aren't here i knew those ones uh are not here because those are ones i was looking for very unfortunate very unfortunate uh but still a good haul but i i want those ones those were one of the reasons i was uh, bidding on those at the completion of the series sim directed that upon his and gerald's death cerebus would enter the public domain sweet caseman i had no idea that is fantastic that is fantastic that is super sweet awesome sim uh dave sim and gerald awesome 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 that's the way it should be man that's the way it should be really right uh, so that's cool i hope you guys enjoyed this haul gang uh super fun super fun intimidation time wow take that bob dylan indeed cheryl well said right well said take that bob dylan my god really really fantastic right on dave sim and gerald uh, what's his name gerald uh, first name first name uh, i forget i forget gang i hope you guys enjoyed um i'm gonna have to send a message to this guy uh to get the other comics here Whew, woo uh so when i get them i'll uh, i'll definitely let you guys know uh, we'll show them. We'll show them. Hopefully, uh, I hope he didn't send them somewhere else because uh, that's pretty crucial. Uh, those are some key issues 
uh, first appearance of Hunstra's, first Todd McFarlane cover, uh, second um, art, story art that he did, first appearance of Kung Fu Fighter, first appearance of Isis, I believe, and whatnot. So I do, and Lady Cop. There was Lady Cop number one in there. <laughs> so I want those comics. <laughs> gang if you can make it we're doing a cooking stream tomorrow at 12 uh, p.m okay hello how are you <laughs> jason we're doing good we're about to end the stream so i hope you enjoyed this yeah lady cop elder god lady cop lady cop it, it looks fun it looked fun uh i think it's not uh from 1970s or late latest 19 early uh, 1980s but i think it was the 1970s right but super fun a uh, good comic haul uh, too bad they're not all here they're not all here i gotta track the guy down i gotta make sure uh from the main hall that i got all those ones are there and then i'm sure the last six weren't so much fun to see thanks for sharing my pleasure uh real zag 19 1978 cool 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 maybe maybe i'll have to look into it uh, but super fun gang if you want to know what this is about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for your support i hope i hope you like what we're doing everything is just a reminder lay it on mathematics i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike gang uh, share and share alike we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who are here on twitch or following or subbing who are uh coming to these live streams uh participating in the discussion and mods for taking care of business thank you very much for the support and you can always come to our twitch channel type in exclamation mark social in the chat and the the links for social networks where we're announced stuff like parlor lo minds vk gab uh, and twitter will pop up including our discord page where there's a lot of people sharing a lot of information okay and we do upload streams um as podcasts on soundcloud.com where we don't have any visuals as podcasts as audio format and those podcasts should be available on both soundcloud and itunes and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube and if you're on those platforms you can subscribe you can turn on notifications like comment share and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership with a link down there and for those of you who supported supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang i hope you have a fantastic day and if you can make it tomorrow we do a cooking stream i'm gonna go do the shopping and get some supplies right now bye everyone